Erev Tov, Chabri Imam, Stephen Benun, you're watching Israeli News Live. We do have word coming out now, RT and also uh, the Xi uh, Chinese newspaper is uh, posting that uh, the talks at uh, Lausanne, uh, Switzerland, uh, that uh, according to Lavrov, some interesting ideas were voiced, uh, more meetings to follow soon. So we are... Uh, don't know for sure what's going to come out, says international talks in Syria, Switzerland, Lausanne have ended after four hours of discussion behind closed doors. No breakthrough has apparently been reached. Participants have agreed to further work on solving the crisis. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said, adding that there were some interesting ideas that have been discussed. There are some ideas that we discussed today in a, a circle of pretty powerful countries that might affect the situation, Lavrov said following the Saturday meeting in the Swiss city. As cited by RIA Novosti, the talks uh, participants have good to continue working on the issues in the following days, hoping for a certain agreement. And this is what they're saying thus far on these talks that are just now breaking. But we also still have some things that are not so good that are going on. And just want to kind of give you an update on here. We spoke about on our last broadcast earlier today how that the United States has a unprecedented number of bombers uh, that are over in uh, Diego Garcia off the coast of India on an island there. In fact, they say so many that are there, they're even parked uh, on the streets. They've got so many bombers going on there. Uh, I did get a confirmation that there are B-52s, B B-1s, and B-2 bombers that are there, so I wanted to make sure that they're actually there. Also following up on another satellite view and information that's coming out that the F-16s uh, CMs from the 31st Fighter Wing based in uh, Italy have arrived at Camp uh, Lemonoir uh, just across from Yemen. All the fighting that's going on over there. So very serious things that are happening. Uh, and then to top things off again, Dave Hodges from the Common Sense Show uh, has brought out uh, an article that he has wrote uh, called Fuel Tankers to the Middle East War is Very Close. Um, Dave doesn't play any games about this. He goes right to the point in his article. He says, I can count on, my, on one hand the number of times I've ever issued an emergency alert based upon breaking news. However, and by the way, this came out today. However, the following has come to me from a most reliable source, and I have partial confirmation. There is no time for embellishment, so I will get right to the point. War may be starting soon. That's what he says here. After American fueler tankers have just gone airborne as of this morning to the Middle East for refueling our fighters and bombers, which would be presumably conducting a series of nonstop bombing missions, this is undeniable first step preparation for war. If these actions are carried out to their logical conclusion, we can expect to hear an announcement our Air Force has carried out, out attacks on the Syrian army. It will be at this point that Russian field commanders will make a decision if they will start World War III by shooting down American planes and killing American pilots. This information coincides with the information that I obtained four years ago that I updated and republished last night. I had a conversation with a source which told me that Russian attack upon Alaska is anticipated. The Russians have been uh, uh, pro, pro positioning military assets for the last four years that I have been reporting on the issues. I feel compelled to ask a key question. Why would there be a fear of being attacked in Alaska if the U.S. was not planning to make a provocative move in the Middle East. And that just kind of goes hand in hand with what we reported already earlier today about the uh, Montana, how the aviation department has put basically in, in effect a no-fly zone over a certain section of Montana because they would be doing uh, some kind of space launch there. Uh, it's kind of an odd thing to say when uh, different people have already noted that there are nothing there in Montana except uh, nuclear warheads inside ICBMs, inside the silos there. We did have a sister comment in the uh, newscast uh, this morning that is a pilot uh, uh, in not far from this area and said that she got the warning as well that they were not to fly in this area. So it is confirmed. We know that the, that the, uh, the, the uh, warning is definitely real. It is true. Uh, and there is a tremendous possibility that things could go south. Now, will the meeting there with, uh, in Lausanne, uh, Switzerland, is this going to be a turning point? 
Will this be a stand down? The United States has brought in such a massive amount of weapons into the, into, uh, the Diego Garcia Island there. Uh, from what we're seeing, now we're seeing Dave Hodges speaking about the fuelers that have taken to the skies. Uh, the United States, uh, the uh, U.S. Obama administration has already said that they're not going to give any warning. Uh, whatever happens is just going to happen, and you'll find out about it after the fact. So it says here, additionally, I've been, uh, he says, clearly the anticipation of retaliatory attack in Alaska is expected by our leaders because they are making a move on Syria. Additionally, I have been that cyber attacks are on the rise between our enemies and Russia and Chinese and the United States. I have been in the positions uh, of this information since only this morning. Further, I have learned that our drone bases have come under heavy attack on computer networks without hesitation. I can state that these are preparations that would be made only if war is imminent. In a long history of the United States, we have been here before. Uh, the Cuban Missile Crisis, co uh, uh, cooler heads uh, have prevailed. However, the prospects of peace seem bleak at this point. My advice to all right now is to make all necessary proper pre precautions. Make sure you have uh, your food, water, and all the rest of your uh, needed supplies because when the shooting starts, there is a good chance that nothing will be delivered. Uh, people will ask me when this will happen. I must say that I do not know. However, the outbreak of war could happen at any time. It would be a mistake to think that if this does happen, that it will uh, occur prior to the election. In this case, there will be no election. Pray for peace. Uh, and this is what Dave Hodges says in his article there. Like I said, this just broke out today. On top of it, uh, something my wife just sent to me just a moment ago here. Let me just share this with you here. Uh, looks like a Advertisements already jumped up. Video, Syrian rebels are begging Israel for help. Tensions escalates in the occupied Golan Heights. That's the way the article title says they should support revolution here. May, may, may they help us in everything, brother. Weapons, products, help, brother, he continues. Uh, you, you have to attack the Syrian army and help us against the, uh, this government of Kufars is what he calls it, a derogatory Arabic word for unbeliever. All right, and let's see, we'll just look real quick at the video here. Yeah, that's, that's what they're actually saying. They are asking for help. They're wanting help from Israel to be able to fight against the, uh, the Syrian army. This is exactly what they're saying there. Uh, you know, it's just, it's so difficult to tell what's going to happen at this point here. Uh, I guess anything could go any direction there. And even though uh, Lavrov seemed to be a little bit os optimistic, my concern is, is every time that the Russians come out optimistic about a meeting, uh, John Kerry comes out with just the absolute, absolute opposite about what the meetings are. And we haven't heard what uh, John Kerry has to say about it. Uh, so if uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov is expecting uh, some positive note and that they may continue talks, John Kerry may come away with just the opposite view. And of course, we know tomorrow, uh, France, uh, John Kerry will be in Britain. He'll be meeting with uh, France and Britain, and uh, they may go forward with an attack on the Syrian army, especially from the information we're seeing here. I'm Stephen Benoon. Pray for uh, the peace of all the world. And uh, we know that a lot of prophecies speak about these things coming to pass, but still pray because it's a lot of innocent lives that would be lost. And now, not just only in Syria, this could go global. I'm Stephen Benoit with Israeli News Live.